it's a good time. Um, Lynn has handled most of the issues. So because of time and because our chief guest is going to master it, and we are also at a very good uh, word from the Reverend today, I am only going to mention a few things. And I hope uh, those with a phone can take a few notes because I can assure you after this, if you implement the few things I'm going to say, teach to is going to make sense to you. I am going to engage for the next five to ten minutes and then I will, I will invite the chief guest. And uh, when, I was, when I was invited here, I was told to speak about taking charge of the digital journey. So, uh, by a show of hands, how many people are on Facebook? Show of hands. How many people are on Twitter? How many people are on Instagram? And how many people are on TikTok? Okay, that was for Karobia to see about which is the biggest social media in Kenya. However, I want to ask the next question and that's my first point. Because we also have entrepreneurship as one of the major topics. How many people have sh know how to buy shares on Facebook? You know how to buy shares on Facebook? On Instagram, on Twitter, or on any other social media, anybody who knows how to buy shares there? Okay. That is my first point. Do not be a participant, be an owner. If you want to own this social media journey, be an owner. And I think Lina has done a good job in trying to tell you how to own your YouTube account, how to own your Facebook account. But I always ask myself, what if one day Facebook, Twitter, and all those guys decide we are no longer going to be in this space? What would happen to your digital journey? When I checked last night when I was preparing for this meeting, one share of Facebook is 15 shillings, 15 Kenya shillings. So why are you not an owner of Facebook? So that in the event they decide to pull off, we will all have a voice on the winding up of Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. I challenge you, I want to be brief, go and own a share of each social media you are in. Number two. Disruption. One day, I worked for a president called President Uhuru Kenyatta. In 2015-2016, Facebook started going live. So I opened my phone in one event, and uh, I went live in that event. After that event, the security guys called me in the office, and they took me to the president. The accusation was, I was introducing something that was a security risk. To state house. I remember what President Uhuru asked me, is this going to help us? And my answer was, I don't know. It's a new thing. I was among the few people in the test. I do not know whether it's going to help you. But what I know, it is going to evolve into a big thing. You must be ready for disruption. But when you disrupt, you must be ready for the fight that comes with disruption. The Reverend here has spoken about Gideon. Gideon, when he was told to go and fight, he was full of fear and declined. But at the end of the fight, God himself described Gideon as a mighty warrior. You must be ready for the disruption. President Mwai Kibaki and their generation sat down and decided that they were going to make Mwai Kibaki president. And he started vying in 1992, vying in 1997, and only became president in 2002. President Uhuru Kenyatta and his friends decided one day they were going to make him president. And he eventually became president. President William Ruto, one day people decided this is going to be our leader. We are all going to submit behind him and he's going to be president. Today he is president. Let me ask you, you who belong to this generation. Are you preparing for a president in this generation? Or are you waiting for someone, somewhere, to be your president? I've heard here there is a president, former Karondo, and there is a sitting president, I've even seen the SG. What are you doing in preparation for a person who looks like you to be president? That disruption, you may decide now it's going to be, it's going to be Karondo, it's going to be Karobia, or it's going to be me. But if you decide that, are you ready for the fight? 
When I decided to support President William Ruto, there was a major fight. I was even kidnapped, beaten, and hospitalized in the hospital. How ready are you for that disruption? And putting it in context into the digital world, how ready are you for that YouTube account that you have created? The President has negotiated for Facebook to start monetization at the end of this, at the, from June this year. There's a guy called Mutebei TV who doesn't really support the kind of politics that I support, but I like his YouTube account. The other day, just a few weeks ago, I was with him and he was showing me his backend for the YouTube. That guy does not produce any content that is original. He doesn't sit down and do any content. He waits for citizen to do a story, he takes it and writes a caption. See how David Yoro told students at Mount Kenya University. And we all click bait and he makes the money. As of three months ago, that YouTube account was making consistently in about eight to nine million shillings every month. But I don't want you to look at the eight million. I want you to look where he came from. He was a he was a cameraman for Citizen TV earning 70,000 shillings. 70,000 shillings. Today, he employs 10 people, paying them a salary of 70,000 shillings. That can be you. Because he did start, he did, you probably don't, wouldn't even know him if he walked here. You don't have to be known to disrupt. Two more points. Data. The new gold on social media is data. Forget about posting something on your Facebook, your Instagram, or Twitter, or TikTok. Data is everything. If you master data, if I had more time, I would show you a few examples on screen on how to master the data, but I'm sure you can organize another day. But master data. No, I've seen the student leadership here, and I know that uh, it lacks the two that's principles. It is important for you to be able to go for it. And when I look at this room, I can almost see that the ladies are actually more in terms of voting. So maybe it's time for you to take up the challenge. Master your data. And that will help you to be able to run the world. Finally, maybe, maybe before I give the point on the data, 2016, how many people know Bitcoin? Very good. Bitcoin was selling for 60,000 shillings. 60,000 shillings. So the guy who, the, one of the staff members, it's okay, I think we can be a chief guest. The microphone was a minute in the then we can be a chief guest. Um, it was 60,000 shillings. One of the guys who was working on that was in Kenya at the time. He came to a group of friends and he sold the concept of Bitcoin. Wakati well, Yusa, some people, because that type of pyramid scheme, so Kasema the pyramid scheme, when Gina Kasema, it cannot work. So I had a little money and, I, and at that time it was 60,000 bob. So I bought two Bitcoins. Those guys with the phone from Google, open up your Google. Search Bitcoin to get a shillings. Bitcoin to get a shillings. So anyone who has managed to Google? Anyone when you, when you get the answer, let me just get an, a hand somewhere. Bitcoin to get a shillings. Yes, how, what have you found? How much? Nine point. Nine point. 9.2 million shillings. In 2016, that was only 60,000 shillings. Now it's 9.2. I bought two of them. I don't even think I've tried when it was 3 million. I told myself I need to withdraw. Then it got to 6 million. I thought I should withdraw. I have been unable to withdraw. Do not fear to invest in data. It works. Wildcoin came here, and uh, I know there is a position that government has taken. But I hold, you know, there is no collective responsibility in wealth. I hold that Wildcoin should come back to Kenya. Yes.
and I am going to put up a fight in all the relevant tables to ensure WorldCoin comes back to Kenya. Because when WorldCoin was here, before it was banned, it was only 7 shillings. Today, it is 48 shillings. In a year or so, I foresee that WorldCoin going to around 1,000, 2,000 pounds. And when we are talking about it seven years from now, when there will be a mentorship like that, and you are the people who will be speaking that mentorship, you will remember that it was seven pop when you heard about it, and it is nine million at the time that we are presenting. Finally, and this is the most important point about digital, be controversial. And you don't have to be controversial in a negative way. You can be controversial in a positive way. Do not come to such a function and post just that you are at NKU doing something. Ask a question that is different from everyone else and get online with it. There is money in fake news. I was searching, and I want you to search independently. Fake news, just search the world of fake news 2023 or 2024. I was searching yesterday as I was preparing for this, and I noticed the world of fake news is $56.9 billion. That's the world of fake news in one year. Well, the quarter gap is before we save our fake news for our Twitter and social media. Out of that $56.9 million, you know how to make your do. Where we are making that? It's before we wake up early. Here you want to go. Here fake news. You can stop fake news. You can stop fake news. Start an organization to fight fake news among university students in Kenya. Then you do a proposal. There are people who are funding those things to fight that fake news. Start a website and get on Senafanya software and for a blog, fact checking. We see that if the system your facts to the kid to your Busema, there is money in it. So start thinking beyond just writing. Controversy sells. There is money in everything negative. If you start a fight today against fake news by you know politicians, and every day you have something about the fake news that has been said, within a year you will come back to me and you will make a lot of money. Because of time, I hope next time we will have a better interaction and more time, and I'm sure we'll create that time, we will have a better engagement. But because we have to these our chief guests, allow me to ask you to put your hands together to welcome the chief guests. Hello, MP and the chair of budget, JT Yoko.